There are lots of launches on the Play Store but there are some that are not released yet or some are there that didn't release for some certain reasons. So in this video I will show you the top 5 Android launches that are not on the Play Store. These applications are quite awesome and are useful at the same time. So without wasting any further time, let's get started. If you have not subscribed to the channel yet, go ahead and press the subscribe button and also tap on the notification icon so that you don't miss any uploads because I keep making videos like this. So many of these launches are ported launches that are not present because they have been made by manufacturers. So the first one on the list is, you might have guessed it, it's the HTC launcher. This launcher is the official HTC one and it is from Sense 7. You have all the features working but some HTC widgets don't work with this. Most of the features work and even the blink feed works but you have to install all the blink feed plugins. I will have a link to all of the plugins in the description box below. The only thing that doesn't seem to work for me are the HTC native widgets. So this one doesn't work but all of the other widgets work just fine. I put in the calculator widget also. You also have some additional options like to hide or unhide applications. And you can also change the order of the applications. To add to blink feed you'll have to swipe from the left and tap on the plus button and add any content that you want from here. To get all the Facebook, Twitter and other application updates, you will need the plugins. You also get themes with this launcher, but you will need an existing HTC account or you will need to create one to use all these. And the second one on the list is the launcher from CyanogenMod or the Trebuchet launcher. I've already shown this one in a video and you can also download this via an APK and I will have all the links to these launchers in the description box below. So this launcher is also quite good. It is more or less like the stock Google launcher but it has a lot of additional options. So you can add the search bar, make the icons larger, you can change the draw style and the door color so you can have it like the official Google launcher as well. I like this one a lot it is quite fast and simplistic at the same time if you don't have a custom rom and want a bit of feel of cyanogen mod you can download this launcher and you can also try a previous video in which i showed you how you can download cyanogen mods on any phone you can see that it has a lot of add-on options and i don't like the applications on the play store because most of the free launchers have a lot of advertisements in them all of these don't have any in them you might have heard of the company named Nextbit that released a phone named Robin and this one is the launcher from that phone and it works for all Android devices. This launcher doesn't have any dedicated app drawer and is more like the MIUI launcher or you can say the iPhone version of Google launcher. You might have noticed that there's an icon that stays on the screen for all periods of time. When you tap on this, you can see the archived apps, the pinned apps and all apps. So the pinned apps are the ones that are in the dock, like the phone, WhatsApp or any other app that you want. The archived apps are the ones that are here and if you want a complete list of all the applications, you can tap on this button. This one is a very simple launcher but I think it needs a search bar for searching all the applications. So if you're liking this video, you might as well check out the ported music applications and the ported camera applications. I will have a link to both of them in the card section in the top right corner. This launcher was also requested a lot and this is the Sony launcher. It is the official application from Sony and you might be able to make out that the animations are very smooth. The app is very simplistic and has a very minimal interface but is quite useful at the same time. The themes option doesn't work in this one, but all the other options work just fine. The app section is also very minimal. You don't get any dedicated search bar, but if you swipe from the left, you will get all these options. You can arrange your applications in alphabetical order or your most used applications, and you can also search the applications from here. I will try to show you one animation. When you tap on the home section, you might be able to make out that most of the animations are quite simple but are really polished. At first I was going to include the Google Glass launcher on this list but as it is still under development I didn't include it in this one. So if you guys want me to make a video on Google Glass application on any Android phone let me know in the comment section below. For this list I've included the MIUI launcher and the Zen UI launcher in the fifth place. So all of you guys would be knowing the MIUI launcher. It is very simple and the interface is quite similar to the iPhone launcher. The icons are different though. And of course you can add widgets to this launcher which you can't do on the iPhone. 
the zen ui launcher is on the play store and many people use it but because i included so many manufacturer applications i thought i would include this one as well this is also quite good and it has more features than most of the other applications when you press and hold you can also see the animations in this one are also quite smooth but they are not as smooth as the one on the sony one in some layout you also get the background blur which is also quite interesting you can change the theme of this launcher as well One thing that I miss in this launcher is the ability to change animations. Rest everything is good and the interface is also quite fluid. When you swipe from the top you get the search interface that searches from your applications and your contacts at the same time. So I hope you liked all these applications and if you did leave a thumbs up on this video and make sure to subscribe to this channel for more content like this.